It was a cold and foggy evening as Emily made her way to the local library. The dark, looming building stood tall among the quiet streets, beckoning her in with an eerie allure. It was her favorite place to escape reality, turning to the comforting smell of old books and the ink-stained pages for solace. As she stepped inside, the familiar creak of the library door echoed through the empty halls. The library was unusually empty tonight, the silence broken only by the faint sound of her footsteps on the marbled floor. Emily couldn't help but feel a sense of unease wash over her, as if something was lurking in the shadows, watching her every move. She shook off her fears, attributing them to her overactive imagination, and made her way to the fiction section. As she browsed the shelves, an old book caught her eye. Its leather-bound cover was worn and faded, adorned with peculiar symbols that seemed to pulsate with an otherworldly energy. Curiosity overwhelmed her, and against her better judgment, she pulled the book from the shelf. The moment she touched it, a shiver ran down her spine. The air around her grew heavy with an ominous presence, and she could have sworn she heard a faint whisper in her ear. The sensation was so unsettling that she quickly placed the book back on the shelf and attempted to ignore the feeling of eyes on her. With a racing heart, she decided to explore a different part of the library. As she entered the basement, the atmosphere grew even colder. The dimly lit corridor stretched before her, lined with rows of dusty shelves, each filled with aging tomes. The flickering lights overhead cast eerie shadows along the walls, dancing as if guided by some unseen force. Emily's footsteps echoed louder as she ventured deeper into the abyss, feeling a growing sense of dread with each passing moment. Suddenly, she heard a rustling sound nearby, causing her heart to skip a beat. She turned to investigate, only to find herself face to face with a decrepit figure covered in tattered robes, its hollow eyes staring at her with an unsettling intensity. Panic surged through her veins as she tried to scream, but her voice was silenced by an invisible force. The figure slowly raised a long, bony finger, pointing towards a nearby door. Emily reluctantly followed its command, her trembling hand reaching for the tarnished doorknob. The moment she opened the door, she was transported to a different realm. The air was thick with an overpowering stench of decay, and the room was adorned with shelves upon shelves of unidentified creatures suspended in jars. Their glassy eyes stared back at her, their twisted forms causing her stomach to churn. She tried to turn back, but the door had vanished, leaving her trapped in this macabre chamber. As she frantically searched for an escape route, the jars began to rattle, their inhabitants writhing in an unsettling display of life. A deafening screech filled the room, echoing through the corridors of her mind, and she felt her sanity slipping away. Just as she believed all hope was lost, a glimmer of light emerged from one of the jars. It grew brighter and more intense, shining a beacon of salvation amidst the chaos. As Emily focused on the light, she found herself being pulled towards it, as if being guided by an unseen force. With a sudden jolt, she found herself back in the familiar confines of the library's fiction section. Gasping for breath, she looked around, expecting to see the remnants of the nightmarish realm she had just escaped from. To her relief, everything appeared as it should, the shelves filled with books, the warm glow of the overhead lights. Was it all just a hallucination? A trick of her imagination brought on by the strange book? Emily couldn't be sure, but she knew one thing for certain she would never venture into the depths of the library again. As she hurriedly made her way towards the exit, the whispers of the building seemed to linger in her ears, a haunting reminder of the horrors that lay hidden within the library's walls.
Detective Emily Thompson paced nervously outside the dusty room labeled. Cold cases. As a newly appointed officer, she had heard whispers about the haunted past of the police department, but she dismissed them as mere folklore. However, when she stumbled upon a forgotten cabinet filled with relics from unsolved cases, she couldn't help but feel a sense of foreboding. With trembling hands, Emily picked up an old, tarnished police badge. It radiated an eerie energy, sending a chill down her spine. Ignoring the warning bells ringing in her head, she pinned the cursed badge to her uniform. From the moment she put on the badge, Emily's luck took a dark turn. She began experiencing unsettling nightmares that left her drenched in sweat, her heart pounding. She would wake up in the middle of the night, paralyzed with fear, sensing a malevolent presence lingering in the shadows. As her sleepless nights mounted, so did the strange occurrences around the station. Lights flickered, doors creaked open and shut on their own, and whispers echoed through the empty hallways. Emily couldn't escape the feeling that something otherworldly was watching her every move. While investigating a series of bizarre murders, Emily's partner, Officer Mark Johnson, became increasingly agitated and paranoid. He accused Emily of being the cause of their misfortune, blaming the cursed badge she wore. Despite her protests, he insisted that they needed to dispose of it before it brought further harm. As the tension between them grew, Emily's partner became consumed by an inexplicable darkness. Mark's behavior became erratic, violent, and he started seeing twisted apparitions that no one else could. One fateful night, consumed by madness, Mark turned his weapon on himself, ending his own life, leaving Emily guilt-ridden and terrified. Determined to lift the curse and find answers, Emily delved deeper into the sinister history of the cursed batch. She discovered that it had once belonged to a corrupt and sadistic police officer named Captain William Anderson. Legend had it that he had made a demonic pact, using the badge as a conduit for evil. Emily's research led her to an old cemetery on the outskirts of town, where Captain Anderson was buried. The once hallowed ground was now overgrown and dilapidated. Emily's heart raced as she stepped among the tombstones, searching for the grave of the cursed captain. As the clock struck midnight, Emily arrived at the decaying grave of Captain Anderson. The air grew dense with an unnatural presence, and her skin prickled with goosebumps. She recited an ancient incantation, hoping to banish the spirit that plagued her. To her horror, the ground beneath her feet began to rumble, and from the grave emerged the vengeful spirit of Captain Anderson. His eyes glowed with malevolence, and a wicked smile formed on his spectral face. Emily's heart pounded in her chest as she prepared to face the wrath of the cursed captain. In a gripping battle of wills and dark magic, Emily fought against the spirit of Captain Anderson. The cursed badge on her uniform shimmered with dark energy, amplifying the spectral captain's power. Spells were cast, objects flew across the graveyard, and the air crackled with supernatural energy. As Emily felt her strength wane, she realized that the only way to sever the connection to the cursed badge was to make the ultimate sacrifice. With a surge of determination, she ripped the badge from her chest and shattered it on the ground. A blinding light enveloped her, engulfing the cemetery in an ethereal glow. When the light cleared, Emily found herself alone among the gravestones. The cursed badge was nothing but shards of metal on the ground. The cemetery was silent, and the malevolent presence had dissipated. The curse had finally been broken. Emily returned to the police station, her heart heavy with the sacrifices made along the way. Now a seasoned and haunted officer, she resolved to protect others from falling victim to the cursed badge's dark allure. She would make sure that the badge would never find its way into the hands of another unsuspecting officer again. The legend of the cursed badge eventually faded into memory, but the echoes of its horrors remained etched in Emily's soul. She moved on, carrying the weight of her experiences as a reminder that evil can ensnare even the most noble guardians of justice. The police department was forever changed by the terrifying events that unfolded, and officers would tread lightly around the relics of the past, never forgetting the malevolence they can stir. And so, the haunted legacy of the cursed badge would continue to haunt the realm of law enforcement, a cautionary tale for those who dare tempt the darkness. Detective Jack Sullivan had always been known for his fearlessness when it came to tackling gruesome crime scenes. However, 
What he encountered that fateful night on the outskirts of town would challenge his bravery like never before. It was a stormy night, and the small town he called home seemed deserted. Jack received a mysterious call from a distressed citizen named Emily, claiming she had seen something horrifying near the old abandoned police station. Curiosity got the best of him, and without a moment's hesitation, he grabbed his flashlight and made his way into the dark, treacherous night. As he arrived at the crumbling police station, Jack couldn't shake off the eerie feeling that something was amiss. Cobwebs covered the entrance, and a shiver ran down his spine as he stepped inside. The place seemed frozen in time. Dust covered desks, yellowed papers, and faded photographs were scattered across the floor. As Jack cautiously made his way through the building, strange whispers seemed to echo around him. He ignored them, his mind focused on finding the source of Emily's terror. Suddenly, a cold breeze swept through him, making the hairs on his arms stand on end. Jack's heart pounded in his chest as he approached the old interrogation room. The room was dimly lit, giving an eerie glow to the remnants of the once powerful police force. Shadows danced on the walls, and Jack's instincts warned him of something terrifying lurking within. He couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. As he approached the rusty interrogation table, he noticed a flickering light coming from a shattered mirror. Against all logic, he saw the reflection of a ghostly figure staring back at him, its eyes burning with evil intent. Jack couldn't resist delving deeper into the mystery that surrounded the old police station. He discovered archives of shocking unsolved cases, each more gruesome than the last. The spirits of the victims seemed to torment him, urging him to uncover the truth. As he dug deeper, strange occurrences began to plague him. His phone would ring with no caller ID emitting blood-curdling screams. Footsteps echoed in the hallway, even though he was alone. The whispers became louder, revealing cryptic messages about a hidden evil that had plagued the town for years. Determined to end the torment and solve the mystery surrounding the haunted police station, Jack uncovered a lead that pointed to a corrupt former police officer, Officer Thomas, who had disappeared years ago under mysterious circumstances. Struggling to piece together the puzzle, Jack drew closer to the truth but also closer to danger. His dreams were plagued with menacing figures, and his waking hours were filled with inexplicable terrors. Officer Thomas's presence loomed over him like a dark cloud. As Jack continued his pursuit, he discovered a hidden underground chamber beneath the abandoned station. The walls were adorned with disturbing artwork, and the air was heavy with malevolence. Officer Thomas's ghostly figure emerged from the shadows, his twisted smile revealing his true, demonic nature. In a chilling confrontation, Jack battled Officer Thomas and the spirits that rallied behind him. Shadows swirled around them, and the room seemed to come alive with terrifying energy. The battle raged on, both on the physical and spiritual plane. In an extraordinary display of bravery and resilience, Jack finally managed to banish the evil that had plagued the town for years. The former police officer was forced into the abyss, and the souls of the victims finally found peace. As Jack emerged from the underground chamber, the storm outside subsided, and the town reawakened to a new dawn. Though scarred by his harrowing experience, Jack knew he had triumphed over darkness. The haunted police station would forever serve as a reminder of the hidden terrors that lay beneath the surface of peace. As Detective Jack Sullivan returned to his duties, he carried with him a newfound respect for the supernatural. He understood that evil can manifest even in the realm of law enforcement. But he also knew that with strength, determination, and unwavering courage, he could conquer the most terrifying of horrors.